The Sooners are stunned on homecoming weekend at Folsom Field. No one could have expected this. Colorado wins their conference opener. Oklahoma falls to 0-1 in the Big 12 Conference, the defending Big 12 Conference champion. And you know, you have to think that there's Boise State voodoo going on here because where was Coach Hawkins before he came to Colorado? He recruited a lot of those kids that beat Oklahoma in the Fiesta Bowl and the Boise State, State voodoo seems to be still lingering with Oklahoma because Coach Hawkins follows up a big uh, bowl win for his alma, uh, the, the school that he coached for prior to the, the Colorado Buffaloes under his reign. Do are it again to Oklahoma. Are you surprised they did not call a timeout? I am a little surprised. I thought that they'd make him think about it a little bit longer. I really did. So from 45 yards away, Kevin Eberhardt trying to win it for a second time already this year. He beat Colorado State in the opener, and I said, does it stay true because he's hooked the ball so much? It did. Uh, and I'll tell you, there's a legacy of kickers here. Crosby is now with the Green Bay Packers, and, and, and Coach Dan Hawkins, his, it, it's, it's a signature win right there. He's been looking for a signature win, and that's a signature win. Bob Stoops can't believe it. You know, and, and when you make mistakes on the road, the Big 12, I don't care how good a team you are, those kind of things can happen. Let's go downstairs. Jim Knox. Thank you, Joel. One word describes this one. Wow. Coach, what's going through your head? Well, this is a great football program with a lot of tradition, and uh, we got great players and great coaches, and uh, we know what we're capable of doing. And, you know, I've been behind the eight ball a little bit the last couple of years, but uh, buffs are coming around a little bit. You got down by 14 points. I talked to you at halftime. You said you still needed to run the football. Yeah. It paid off. Well, you know, we just stayed patient with it. And they're very good, but you can't back away from it. I thought we were able to just crease them a little bit, hang in there, get to them a little bit there in the fourth quarter. And, you know, they turned the ball over a little bit, which hurt them. But, you know, we haven't been doing a good job in the turnovers. This is the first game we've really been on the plus side in the turnovers. So, and a couple of turnovers we gave, gave them 14 points as well. So, really proud of our guys, proud of our staff. It's a great football program. It's one of the top 20 programs in the history of college football, and uh, we're getting her done. Huge plays on offense. Fourth down, you went for it a couple times. Cody really showed some poise in the pocket, your son. Well, yeah, and I thought Mark called a great game, and our guys had a lot of confidence. I told him the whole week, I said, guys, we're winning this game, and not because I'm the Swami. I just have seen the things come around and seen the progression of it and know how it works. And these guys have been through the fire, came close a couple times, and they were poised and ready to do it, and they did. Talk about your defense. Going into the game, Oklahoma was averaging 61 and a half points per game. You guys just about shut them out in the second half. Well, again, no, no offense to any, anybody else, but we know what our guys are capable. We played some pretty good football teams, but we weren't, you know, mature enough to capitalize and make some plays when we needed it. So Arizona State's a great team. Florida State's a great team, and we played with those guys. So we knew we'd be able to play with Oklahoma. Right now, after the celebration on the field, you're going to head into the locker room. What are you going to tell your team? Well, again, just all the things we keep talking about. It's it's not magic dust. We've done this many times. We thought we'd get it done versus Georgia last year. It didn't happen. Set us back a little bit. I think it'll be great momentum for these guys to continue to play with confidence. And then you have that ultimate buy-in. So we just got to keep hammering this thing. We're, you know, administration's helping us. We're going to be back in the picture here. We're good to go. Yes, you are back in the picture. Congratulations, Coach Joel. Unbelievable conference opener. Amazing. And disbelief over on the Oklahoma side. Our Kia Saros. Well, well, before we get to our wireless call of the game, I thought that it could hook. And he, it almost did. He did a good job of compensating. He didn't he didn't overswing. You know, and uh and, and he it was the pendulum clock swing right there. And Coach Hawk.